Welcome to another in the series of demonstrations designed to get you quickly up to speed with what's new in NX Cam. This video will demonstrate how you can now filter tools by type, display tool details, and display tools graphically when editing or creating an operation to more easily identify the desired tool from those in the current setup. First, we'll see how filtering makes tool identification and selection easier when changing the tool in an existing operation. Double-click Spot Drilling to edit the operation. In the Tool section of the dialog box, display the tool list and scroll down to the bottom. The new Browse option allows you to more easily identify and select the desired tool from those in the current setup. This is especially useful when the list is very long, as in this example. Select Browse. The Tool Selection dialog box is new. The Tool Type section organizes the various tools found in the setup by type. Tools retrieved from the library are grouped separately from tools created within the setup. The tool type used in the current operation is highlighted. Turning tools are not listed when editing milling and drilling operations. The tool name, library reference, description, and tool dimensions are listed under matching tools for all the tools of the selected type in the setup. The tool used in the current operation is highlighted. Tool and holder details specific to the selected tools are listed in the details section of the dialog box. The tool is now displayed in the graphics window. You can drag and rotate the tool in the graphics window to get a better view. Select a tool from the matching tools list. The tool and details are displayed. Click OK. The tool you selected is the tool that will be used by the operation. Click Generate. Click OK to complete the operation. Next, we'll see how filtering makes tool selection easier when creating a milling operation. Click Create Operation. Select Mill Planer from the type list. Select Floor and Wall. Select Browse from the tool list. Select End Mill Non-Indexable from the Tool Type section of the dialog box. Select a tool from the matching tools list. Drag and rotate the tool to get a better view. Click OK to complete the tool selection. Click OK in the Create Operation dialog box. Click Specify Cut Area Floor and select the top face of the part. Click OK Click Generate. Click OK to complete the operation. Lastly, we'll see how tools are filtered when creating a turning operation. Click Create Operation. Select Turning from the type list. Select Rough Turn OD. Select Browse from the tool list. Notice that turning tool types are now displayed. Select OD Turning in the Tool Type section of the dialog box. Select a tool in the matching tools list. Notice that values are not currently displayed for turning tools. Click OK to complete the tool selection. Click Cancel in the Operation dialog box. This concludes the demonstration of how you can now filter tools by tool type, display tool details, and display tools graphically when editing or creating an operation. Thank you.